Hi, it's two o'clock in the morning. They're making this emergency video regarding a, a potential hurricane that's coming right at me. And I want you to uh, help me out here if you've already got your heartfelt energizers. Right now, the, the storm is at the toe of Mexico at what I believe is called the Yucatan Peninsula. Um, that's where it is, and it's sort of grazing that area. So this is a prime time when we can disrupt that storm. And so I'm going to ask you, depending where you are, to point it in that direction. You know, if you're in where I am, you would point it directly south. If you're over on the west coast, you, you know, angle it over. Uh, you can look at the, you can go to Twitter, you can find it on the National Hurricane Center websites, all those different places, you can see where it is. And we need to wipe this thing out completely by increasing the wind shear, and that's what the energizers can do. Um, it, the water is extremely warm, so we want to wipe it out completely because it could pick back up. And because it's going, it's heading, according to Vantusky.com, it's the weather, weather website, it, this storm is coming directly at Tyndall Air Force Base once again, which is where Michael actually hit dead center uh, there and at, at Mexico Beach. They didn't talk about it at, at Tyndall because it's military. They didn't, it had to be a secret to how much damage occurred there. But there was a, a brick house that was lifted up, flew through the air and moved. And the reason it's attracted to Tyndall is that Tyndall has tremendous amounts of, of Wi-Fi and 4G, 5G, all that stuff. And because most people don't realize this, but hurricanes are nothing more than ion sandwiches. So they got a layer of negative ions, a layer of positive, negative, you know, negative, positive, negative, like that. And it creates a tremendous amount of surface tension and, and kicking off uh, frequencies. And those those negative those ions are are craving what they've got at Tyndall Air Force Base. Normally, Panama City, the, the history of the last 100 years, is they don't get hit by hurricanes. They might go to Panama City Beach, which is to the west, across the bay, there's a, 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 actually a, a little bay right there, and uh, or to the other side. I was in Panama City one time when a hurricane hit, I don't remember the name of it. It went, it went to the beach and it went around the other side, but the middle of the part was okay. Um, it was nothing, hardly. It was, you know, not much at all. And so, we need to get, we need to nail this thing down because the waters in the, in the, the Gulf are extremely warm. And so, even if we get kick it down a little bit, it can kick right back up between the combination of the warm water feeding it and hundreds of miles of warm water, you know, that it can draw from square miles, and you go cubic cubic feet down. Um, plus, it has this, att this attractant of the Tyndall Air Force Base. So that combination is what kicked up Michael from a three, just miles offshore, to boom, to a five. And it should have, the land should have slowed it down because that's, you know, the land slows down hurricanes, but it picked up. It picked up and turned into a five. And so the same thing can happen again this thing could be, it could get up to close to 50 miles away, 20 miles away. It look like it's going to be a two, and the next thing you know, it's going to be a four or five. Just like that. So we need to nail this thing now, and we need to keep pounding on it while it's any remnants that are going across there. We need to keep pounding it. So depending on the direction you're at, just put the oscillate there and, and check on it every day. You might want to be moving it slightly so that it can continue to to create this wind shear and and really bring the storm down well thank you so much for your help god bless you uh, god really is making a, a wondrous world for us right now and we can take care of it and and we're supposed to minister to it according to what it says in the bible we are we are the ministers to the earth so let's do that and, and uh, bless the people in, 
that are in the way, you know, all the families that are there that have had their homes destroyed once would get them destroyed again. Uh, you know, and of course the life, the lives that were lost last time and, and you know, injuries, what have you, uh, people losing their home, they're losing their jobs, you know, ending up homeless. And, and right now in this country, we, we don't need that, do we? No. So get those things, let's get this cranking and let's take care of it. Like I said, my power could go out, so my 40 energizers could disappear from, you know, from action. So even though it looks like you got it under control, when it's right at shore, my power could be out, and bingo, it kick right up. Because I'm feeling like 50 miles north, directly north, of it, maybe 55 miles, something like that, from there. So, as the crow flies. Um, well, thank you for listening, and God bless.